Grace with Girls, and today I wanted to share with you what we will be using for my fourth graders homeschool curriculum this school year. This will just be her individual subjects, and if you want to see our group subjects or family subjects, that will be in a different video, and I'll have that linked up above for you. If you're new to my channel, I'm the homeschool mom of four girls, and we've been homeschooling now for about eight years. This year, we will have a seventh grader, a fourth grader, a second grader, and a kindergartner. If you would like to see what we'll be using for all of those grade levels, please like and subscribe and I'll be posting all of those videos soon. All right, let's get started. For language arts this year, she'll be using English for Writing and Grammar by BJU Press. My oldest daughter has used this program for several years and we just love the way that it lays out its language arts. So I'll go ahead and show you inside some of the things we love about it. And first we love that it does a grammar unit followed by a writing unit. So it kind of mixes it up throughout the year. And one of the things that we love about it is how it teaches it. It has a whole section at the beginning of the new concept you need to learn. And then at the bottom, it has the guided practice for that day. So you do that with your student. And then on the back side, they have their independent practice on what they've learned that day. Then at the end of every chapter, it has a chapter review with everything you've learned during that chapter. And then it also has a cumulative review to make sure they're not forgetting all the things they've learned so far. So I really love the way that it lays that out. So the very next chapter will be a writing chapter. So this one's on compare and contrast essays, and we really love the way that they teach writing in this program. It lays it out step by step of how to write every single type of writing. It just makes it so simple and it gives great examples. And so each day they'll do a, the next step in the writing process. And so it's not overwhelming for the student. They're not trying to write something all in one day. They take it step by step each day. So I love the way that it teaches writing and we are really enjoying this program. To go along with that, we'll be using Writing Fabulous Sentences and Paragraphs by Evan Moore for grades four through six. So this book is just basically going to be something that she uses once a week to practice writing. It has guided lessons on how to improve sentences and paragraphs, narrative, descriptive, persuasive, compare and contrast, how to, and definition paragraph forms, and it supports six trait writing. So this is basically going to help her make better, more descriptive sentences. Um, it teaches them the basics of paragraph writing, making sure they have a topic sentence, and then supporting sentences that go along with that and so I think it will just be good to kind of brush up on writing and just something that she can use once or twice a week to go along with her language arts program. For reading this year she'll be using Reading for by BJU Press. My oldest two daughters have used this program for the past several years and we really like it. They seem to enjoy the stories they're reading and the variety of things they get to read about. And it also has a workbook where they do reading comprehension questions. So we really enjoy this reading program. Another thing we'll be using is the Read and Think Skill Sheets 4 by Becca. She'll be using this once or twice a week to work on reading comprehension skills. And what I like about this resource is it's very similar to what they might see on a standardized test. So they'll have a passage to read and they have five minutes to read it. And then they have comprehension questions on the back to answer. This really helps them with working on understanding what they're reading and how to find information in the text. So I really like this resource for working on reading comprehension skills. For math this year, she'll be using Mathematics 4 by Christian Light Education. We actually decided to switch her over from a Becca Math to Christian Light this year because although we love a Becca Math for the younger years, I feel like Christian Light is so much better at explaining new concepts. So my oldest daughter has used this math since kindergarten and we have loved it. So it explains the new concept super thoroughly and gives them example problems and walks them through it and then it gives them a chance to work on the new concept themselves. The rest of the lesson is built in review. So it's a spiral method which means it just reviews the concepts over and over again so your child really gets familiar with all of these new math concepts. So I love the way this math teaches and we have really enjoyed it. So for spelling this year we decided to try out all about spelling and we started it this summer and are almost finished with level one. So throughout this school year, we will move through level two and possibly level three. 
Um, level one is super basic, but we wanted to make sure we didn't miss any of the spelling concepts and spelling rules that they teach. So we're just moving through it quickly and we will start the next book as soon as we're finished with this one. For handwriting, she'll be finishing up A Reason for Handwriting Book C, which is one of their cursive handwriting books. So the way that this works is you do a little bit of cursive practice every single day. You work on some letters, some words, and then at the end of the week, you have a scripture that you'll be writing out in cursive. And what they do is the last day, they let them write their scripture in their cursive handwriting on these handwriting sheets, and then they color the picture to make it something that they can display. So we really like this handwriting program. For vocabulary building, she'll be continuing on with Wordly Wise Book 3. This program is definitely a little intense. It has a lot of vocabulary words every single week, and then they answer questions about the words and have a reading passage to focus on the vocabulary words. So I really do like it for vocabulary building, but we're just working through it super slowly at our own pace just so she can really learn the words. I hope you enjoyed seeing what we will be using for our fourth grader this coming school year. If you wanna see what we'll be using for our group subjects or for our other grade levels, please like and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.